All right, hi, and welcome to a webinar of the Headset app. Today, we're going to demo the Headset app. We realize that we're just a little bit different product than a traditional headset system. Uh, so we wanted to give you guys a peek into kind of the back end of the Headset app, let you get your brain uh, wrapped around this new product a little bit, and answer any questions that you might have. Uh, this should take about 10, 15 minutes tops. If you have questions after the demo, please feel free to reach out to us at support at theheadsetapp.com. Really quick, let's dive in. Um, we we are we're born out of a set of problems. One of our co-founders is Patrick Dabrico, who is the head coach at Concordia in uh, Nebraska. And what we learned through him and through a lot of his counterparts is that traditional headset systems were were a, kind of a problem. We interviewed over, ended up in interviewing over a hundred coaches and learned a ton about traditional headset systems. And overwhelmingly what we heard was that their experience was meh at best to okay. Um, what we learned was that traditional products were were expensive, anywhere from five or six, all the way up to over a hundred thousand dollars in costs. Uh, buying a lot of hardware up front, there are annual refurbishing fees. A lot of stories from coaches about how they were inefficient. They wanted to add users, and it was difficult. And then there was other stories around break-in issues where truckers or other people with walkie-talkies would break into systems. Um, and so what we did is we set out to make everything that is frustrating and difficult about traditional headset systems simple. And so uh, we created the headset app and wanted to demo that a little bit today. We've had really good adoption rates over the last year and a half of us being in business. We have been excited to partner with a handful. And here's a quick uh, user map of our customers um, here across the United States. We've had a couple outside of the United States. Uh, today, we're just going to do a quick product tour. I'm going to introduce Mason here in just a second. Uh, we have recommendations around hardware. Uh, we are not a hardware uh, provider, but we have tested a handful of products and have some recommendations, specifically as it relates to football and baseball use, and then we'll be happy to answer any questions you might have. Uh, with that, I'd like to introduce you to Mason Foxvog. He is our chief architect of the Headset app. He is also a co-founder. And with that, Mason, I'm going to hand, hand this over to you, and um, I will be back here in just a second. All righty. Well, thank you, Nick. So as you can see on my screen here, we have uh, two phone devices. On the left is the team owner who's already set up a team, and on the right is a, an assistant coach we're going to invite. Um, so this demo is going to go over all the features of the headset app, but as you'll see, it won't take too long. Uh, we've designed this tool to work for coaches um, with all the complexity and uh, things you have to deal with in your day-to-day -day job. We don't want to add to that. Uh, so we want to be a tool you can use and feel like you're gaining efficiency. All right. So uh, one part of the headset app that we're not going to go over today is registering. Registering is just an email and password, and then we do require an email verification. And at that point, you can select your display name, and we'll get into that a little bit later here, and then you can create a team or join a team. So on the right side, you can see we're at that step right now. I can create a team, and here I would select team type. I'll just click football for now. Team name. It can be whatever you want. Team city is going to be your team city and state. And then phone number. Uh, phone number is optional. Um, all of this data we collect, we don't sell. We only use it to support you if you call in. So if you call in and need some troubleshooting uh, support or um, help pairing a headset or whatever, whatever it may be, uh, we have an idea of where you're at and what, what field you're in. Um, okay, <clears throat> so now we have created a team, and just like that, we're ready to go. I can click any of these channels, so I'm going to click channel one. And you may have noticed, initial connection takes a few seconds. It's still not too bad, but once I'm in a channel, I can switch channels instantly. So I can go back and forth with zero delay at all. I can mute and unmute from the bottom bar here. I also have an all channels button, so I can click that and talk to all channels all at the same time. And then I can leave a channel. 
Uh, the nice thing is we have a companion Apple Watch app, uh, which has all these features included. So you can join a channel, you can mute, unmute, you can broadcast to all channels, and you can leave a channel from your from your watch on your wrist. You don't have to pull your phone out of your pocket. Um, we have a lot of people that have concerns about uh, being on their phone in the middle of a game. With Apple Watch, you don't have to. Just a quick tap on your watch and you're good to go. Okay. So we have access to the channels and that's fine, but let's add somebody to, to our team so we can talk to somebody. So I'm gonna go to the team screen. In the top right, I'm gonna click add. And then I'm gonna enter their email address and click invite. You'll see now we have a pending invite section with that invite email, the date it was sent, and then if I want to revoke that invite, I can click this trash can icon and that'll go away. On our other screen, this is the account that we invited. I'm gonna click, I'm joining a team. And you'll see the headset app is, is listed here. That's the team we created. And I can join that team. So I'm gonna click join team. Now on the left, you'll see, I have two of 20 seats used. Coach Nick is now a member. And on the right side, I can join the same channels that we have on the other side. I'm not gonna join the same channel cause that'll give us some nasty feedback, but I will show you some features. So there's a menu button on the top right. I can click that and see who's in each channel. I can also get to this uh, menu from clicking the number badge on the channel. That'll open up a the same window. All right. So we got that out of the way. At this point, we can use it like an encrypted walkie-talkie. Nobody can get in. We can talk to each other. No problems at all. So let's go over some team management. So as the team owner, I'm going to go to the team screen. You'll notice non-team owners do not have this option, so this is only for team owners. Each user, each member, has a menu button next to their name. I can click that, and you'll see a few options here. I can remove them from the team entirely. I can make them active or inactive, or I can set them as listen only. So let's go through each of these individually. Active or inactive just toggles a user to join a channel. So if you're active, you can join a channel and you count against the seat limit. So you'll see using two of 20 seats here, I'm gonna set Nick as inactive. Now I'm only using one of 20 seats and he is no longer able to join a channel. He will get an error if he tries to join. Um, and we see this used a lot. For example, if you have two squads of people you want using the headset app, Squad A works on Monday and Squad B works on Tuesday. You can have Squad A using the headset app on Monday and Squad B using the headset app on Tuesday and use the same licenses. So you don't have to purchase for more than what you need, just purchase the amount that you need and toggle who can access. And a lot of people will use that for uh, backup players, um, coaches that may not be there at every game. Um, there's a lot of uses there. The next menu option is going to be listen only. So I'm going to toggle Coach Nick as listen only. You'll see he has an ear icon next to his name in the team tab. And on his screen, he has a listen only indicator where the mute and all channels button used to be. And listen only just means once he joins a channel, if he's active, he can hear everybody's communication but anything he says won't be sent back to the rest of the channel. So it just sets their account as listen only, effectively muting them and enforcing one-way communication. Uh, this is very popular for baseball users using uh, coach to catcher communication. Uh, we have some other use cases. If you, if you wanna put uh, an earpiece in a quarterback during practice, for example, and you don't wanna hear everything he has to say, you can use listen only. 
All right, let's go to the settings screen and go over a few customizations. Okay, so the first thing I can customize in here is my display name. So I can set this to whatever I want. And display name just shows up in that user drawer we looked at earlier. As a team owner, I can customize the team name. I can change this at any time. I can also go down here to channels. I can add channels. I can have as many as six and as few as one. And you'll see on the right side, when I click add channel, these pop into existence in real time. I can rename these channels. So let's make channel one offense. We'll make channel two defense. And channel three can be special teams. Now these are just example names. You can name these whatever you want, whatever makes sense for your program or your use case. Um, it defaults to new channel and channel one through three for new teams, but you can really make these what you want. Next, we'll take a look at the license section in settings. And this is nothing more than just tells you a little info about your, your current license. Uh, so you'll see which license you have. Currently, we have a five-day free trial for all new teams. Uh, that trial starts automatically, and you can see when that expires in the settings screen here. If you purchase a subscription, you'll get more info on that subscription in the app. And then finally, the last feature I want to cover today is voice isolation. This is a new feature to the headset app this football season. Uh, we're very excited about it. This really opens up which hardware uh, coaches can use. So in the past, we used to recommend hardware that came with voice isolation or noise cancellation. Um, but now that's built into the app. So any kind of background noise like crowd noise, referee whistles, uh, just general noise from a, a game or, a, you know, whatever you're doing in practice, um, all of that gets filtered out. And the only thing that gets passed through is your voice. Um, so big game changer for us really gives us a, an edge there. Um, and that is it. I believe Nick has some supplementary slides to go over with some resources we have available. Yeah, you bet. Thanks, Mason. I uh, appreciate that. Um, a couple of things we wanted to hit on. So again, I mentioned this before, but we realized that we are kind of a new and unique way to think about coaching communication and wanted to create ways in which for users to be able to learn themselves. Uh, one of the things that we've done is we have a how-to page. Um, it breaks down everything that we talked about today, plus a couple of ad additional features on our how-to page at theheadsetapp.com slash how-to. Another thing that I wanted to highlight is we have a FAQ page. These are a list of questions that we get from our customers. Um, so other customers have the ability to quickly find um, any questions that they might have surrounding the headset app. The last thing I wanted to highlight was, like I mentioned, we are a software company. We do not sell hardware, but we also recognize that uh, your experience with the headset app is directly tied to which hardware you utilize for your specific situation. So if you go to our hardware recommendation page, we have broken down a list of uh, hardware that we have tested in game and in practice that we recommend that fits uh, your specific use case, specifically right now to football and baseball. We have a couple of other ones coming up. Uh, around referees um, and and that sort of thing, but the re resources page is a or the hardware page is a great use uh, for you looking if you're looking for some hardware recommendations. And then the last thing I'll highlight is our payment system. So again, we're a little bit different. It isn't an upfront cost. We are a monthly subscription fee. So we have three ways in which you can do this. One is a monthly subscription per user. So we are a per user subscription. So if you have 10 coaches on the headset app, it will be $19.99 per user per month. We have a handful of coaches that would prefer just to have one payment and not manage a monthly subscription. So we've created a season pass, a season pass. If you know that you're going to use the headset app for four months um, and you only want to mess around with payments once, you can do the exact same thing and just pay one time for that four month usage. 
And then the last one is an annual plan. This one is a pretty steeply discounted plan. We have a handful of users that uh, can see value in using the headset app throughout the course of a year. An annual plan is $99.99 per user per year, and it gives you access to the headset app for the entirety of the year. With that, we would love to answer any questions that you might have. Feel free to reach out to us directly at support at the headset uh, We're pretty active on Twitter as well. We also have a chat on our website at uh, the headset app.com and there's a chat in the bottom right there's a very real chance you could be speaking to me or mason on that um, or another member of our team um, again feel free to reach out to us directly i have mason's information there as well too otherwise thank you so much and we are excited and thank you for your interest in the headset app thank you